Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn about before mount and mounted lifecycle method. So this is a short video, but in aspect of uh, interview questions and uh, in the aspect of learning, this is really important. So this video have three points when they uh, both lifecycle method are called example and interview question also. Yep. So let's start uh, with the before mount. So the first question is when this lifecycle method will be called. So this is called just before your template is mounted with your component and a mounted component will be called whenever your template is just mount with your uh, component, right? So in before mount, you cannot access your HTML elements and tags and template part, right? So whenever you have to just uh, get the value from your HTML part, whenever you are loading your uh, page, then you must have to use mount component. I will show you why you have to use mount component. So let's say you are using before mount and here you are just making uh, a console dot one and here you want to access uh, any specific node, any specific tag or complete HTML, right? So for that, what you will do? You can just simply write here this dot dollar el right so now what you will find that whenever you will run it you will see that you will find here null right because whenever before mount is called the html part is not ready yet so how you can just access this part for that you have to use mounted component so you can just simply put here mounted and uh, just change here uh, the text so that we can identify them and uh, now you will find that let me just refresh it again now you can see that we are getting our html part inside mounted component because it will be called whenever your template part or you can see that your html part is merged with your javascript part in a component so uh, in case of interviews, uh, there can be a simple question. Can we access our DOM or can we access our HTML part inside before mount? The answer is no. So how we can handle it? We have to use mounted lifecycle method. So bye bye. Take care. If you have any other question, you can ask me in the comment box.